Angie Nas and today I'm going to show you how to write with invisible ink. And this is a great activity to do with your children or your students so stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay first I'm going to show you all the ingredients we're going to need for this activity. We're gonna need lemons, a small container, and a candle or a light bulb whichever one you have and matches because I'm using a candle and some uh, q-tips or a brush if you have um, coloring brushes you can also do that but they have to be thin enough for you to write just to avoid some mess I already put some lemon juice in here I squeezed some lemon uh, juice in here so it's all ready for me to go also some papers to write your messages on so kids what they love to do is draw write messages write letters and this is a great way for them to even decode messages. It's very entertaining and it's also very educational. And I'll tell you how it's educational after that, after we're done writing our little message. So I'm just going to write. So you wanna make sure you're getting it everywhere and also let it dry for a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, I'm going to write one on this little paper. I'm going to light up my candle. This part, kids will need adult help. You do want to be there when this activity is being done, especially this part because it can get a little dangerous. Alright, so I'm just going to hold the paper over the candle to give it some heat. So as you can see, it's turning a light brownish, it's kind of light brown and if you keep it on long enough, it'll turn black, it can also turn black. There you go, that's my little message. It says, yay. I'm sure the kids will ask, oh, you know, how did you do this and some, they're gonna have some questions. The way to answer those questions is lemon juice contains carbon compounds. It's absorbed into the paper and when you apply heat to it, it breaks down those carbon compounds. It turns it to a different color before actually burning the paper. Because lemon juice is a weak acid, it does soften the paper. That's why it burns that area that you wrote your message. It turns it into a different color faster than the paper. Now let's do the same thing with this paper. I wrote this one I think I used too much lemon juice because it kind of already shows it made it all wrinkly. I'm going to use a little less lemon juice and just write it really fast. The paper doesn't get too wet. Okay, let's just let that dry too. Alright, I'm going to write a little more here. So right now you don't see anything on the paper. There you go. Isn't that cool? Now I want to also practice, I want to try out to see if I hold it the opposite way how it's going to be. And this is great for kids to just experiment, see results. Okay, so I'm just going to write. Alright, now instead of holding it the way I was holding it, I'm going to turn it upside down. So you can hold this upside down or right side up, whichever way you want. Either way, you're gonna get your message. It's better to use index cards for these because for your to write your messages on because it you don't have to wait for it to dry. Regular white paper is just taking way too long to dry and it's making the paper wrinkly. I don't know if you can see it. I wouldn't use this kind of paper. Index papers are better. Let's also do this one. So I'm just gonna hold it the way I was doing it before. But you can even hold it like this. I'm just gonna hold it like that for now. Okay. 
Oh, oh, okay. So I tried to use regular paper and it just made a huge mess. It burned. So I wouldn't recommend regular paper. Maybe the heat is a little too strong. Let me see if it's... No, I just wouldn't use regular paper. Index paper is much better. I haven't tried it with a light bulb. Maybe a light bulb will be better for paper like this. So you can experiment and you can try it out and let me know. I mean, I had a lot of fun doing this. You can just imagine how it can captivate a child's imagination. And also it is science. So they're experimenting with heat, carbon, learning more about oxidation. I do want to say again, because it's really important, you do need an adult's help to do this. Children, if you're watching, do not do this alone. It is not safe to do this alone. And it's more fun to do it with people. You can write to them, they can write to you. So just let an adult know that you want to do this activity and have lots of fun. Be safe all the time, always, especially doing this activity. If you have any other way of writing secret messages, let me know in the comments below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, see you guys. Thank you.